Hello, this is Toby, and today I'll be showing you how to grow Araucaria bidwillii or the Bunya Bunya from seed. And these trees, they're conifers, and this is the seed of the tree. I know it looks massive, the cone is massive as well. A cone, a mature cone, will probably be the size of a head. But when they fall off the tree, because they're really tall, the trees, the cone usually shatters, releasing the seeds. And I haven't seen a lot of information online about how to grow these, so I don't know if it's going to be a success or not. But you can see these seeds, if you shake it, it's pretty compact. Um, I used to find some of these seeds on the floor, but they're all like, if you shake it and you hear something, that's not good. But what we're going to do with these seeds, I think if I just put it in some lukewarm water, like this. It should do. I soak it for around two hours and you can see none of the seeds float so that means it's really good they're really viable if, this, if your seeds floating it probably wouldn't do any it probably wouldn't grow so we'll let this soak for uh, around an hour or two hours and we'll come back so I let this soak for around two hours two hours 15 minutes around and we're gonna start planting it. So what we're going to do is, I've got a pot, pretty deep and pretty big, because there's four plants in here, for full of soil. And the soil is just regular potting mix, plus sand, plus perlite, just to increase the drainage. And the reason we're using a deep pot, not a seed tray, is because when they germinate, then the fact that in the chest they do germinate, they'll send like a long, fibrous or tuberous taproot, which are, which goes pretty deep. And if you want to plant the trees in the ground, I suggest you plant them in the ground when they send that taproot out because that's what keeps the tree anchored and prevents them from falling over because they do grow really tall. So if you want to plant one in the ground, make sure you start them young in the ground or else in the long run, they might fall over with the wind. So what I'm going to do now is get my seed and put it at an angle with the pointy side down. So grab a seed, point it side down, stick it into the soil at an angle. Same with this. Do that for all four seeds. Now we cover the top slightly, but not so much that it covers the entire seed. We want to see a bit of the seed. And all I'm going to do now is give it a good water with the, with the water and it might wash a bit of the soil away that's fine we can just move that over and if they will germinate they'll germinate in around a cup from a couple of weeks to a couple of months so you have to be patient with these and hopefully these do germinate so I was actually about to give up on this project and the reason was because the, the seeds actually rooted but then the shell kind of rotted away so I thought the seedlings died and I just didn't have time to clear the pot away I just left it here let it grow let it grow and then see if anything will happen these two are all right but to my surprise nine months later we actually got something germinating so if I can show you this is actually the seedling so I put some slug pellets and that's the bud. It looks very nice. It looks a bit red. And I think that's what they're meant to look like. So these are fairly slow growing. So it might be a while before it starts growing lateral branches, probably around a year. So we're gonna wait and we're actually gonna see how this goes. I didn't expect it to come out, but here it is nine months later. So here's an update of the Orocaria bidwilia or Banya seedling and you can see it's grown a lot since the last clip the leaves have come out you can see the shoot very nice now at this stage I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I've had I read about some articles saying that these guys have a strong taproot and if you want to plant them in the ground you'd want to plant them with the strong taproot still going down because they get pretty tall and if that taproot hits the bottom of the pot and starts curling around, it's not really going to do anything. So if you plant it up in the ground, afterwards, it could fall over. That's what I heard. I'm not sure how true that is. 
but I'm not gonna plant this in the ground. There's no space for it. It's a large tree. And plus it drops very heavy cones, so it's a bit dangerous. So probably just gonna keep it in a pot and see how this guy develops. So here's the final update of this bunya pine. And you see it's starting to grow lateral branches as well. So very nice. And I think there still possibly could be one more in there. For example, I pulled out two empty shells and if they have released that big taproot already, then there could be another plant there that's waiting to come out. So if anything else comes out, I'll do a separate follow-up video as soon as possible. And again, before I end this video, I'd like to say that um, with these species, if you, if you read the start of my video, you shouldn't go to national parks and stuff to collect them. If you live in Australia, they're usually protected. If you're overseas, I don't think it really matter that much. But here in Australia, I'm pretty sure they're protected. These were gotten off the side of the road. And sometimes here, you get them planted near parks and stuff. And usually the council that in charge of the park when the cones form they usually cut it off or something like that we'll put a sign warning people not to go near the tree because it's pretty heavy you can get around 30 centimeters wide and can go over 10 kilos and could, you could probably die if it hits you in the head when it's falling from 20 or 30 meters in height so they usually remove the cones so it's very rare you actually find a cone on the ground and even if they forget to remove a cone sometimes the birds get to it and they ruin the seed so it's very rare that I actually got these seeds now you could probably order them online or something like that but outside you probably most likely you'll never encounter them a well packed seed and again these are very rare if they fell on the ground people could have stepped on them birds could have gone to them so if that happened then the seed's not going to germinate so again this is I'm very lucky to have this and again I don't recommend collecting these in national parks where, you, where it's protected so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that I know there's a lot of videos about this online so which is why I've decided to make this and again I hope you learned something from this video and if you have any questions comment them in the comment section below and I'll answer them so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one bye